What is up, you beautiful and awesome people? Hope you're having a great day so far. I'm here, of course, as always, to make it better with a combining of the old and the new. Revan versus Vader. I wish I could make a what-if fanfic scenario about that. I mean, who knows, maybe I will in the future. Talk to me down in the comments, but let's get back to some Sith drama. These guys remind me of Sith Wives of Coruscant, a new TV show coming real soon. I mean, you wouldn't be a Sith if you weren't a jealous, catty, backstabbing fella. Well, here comes Vader with his emotional past and his emotional present. Today, my friends, I want to speculate as to how Vader felt about the Rule of Two in the beginning when he became Darth Vader. How he felt about the Rule of Two, then we will move on to how he felt about the Rule of Two after a while, after a couple of years. But mostly, the thoughts that Vader created about the man who invented the Rule of two, and therefore got Vader stuck with an obsessive master in Sidious, a conniving, lying piece of ish. I actually love Sidious a lot, but Vader by the end, believe me, he didn't. All of what I'm trying to say is that if it wasn't for the rule of two, Vader would have been able to freely train his own apprentice and not hide him as he did with Starkiller. The main connecting line for this video is Starkiller in my opinion, I mean he's the focal point. If it wasn't for these stringent rules, Vader might have finally defeated Sidious. Now granted, yes, the Sith might have, might have not been wiped out if it wasn't for the rule of two, I understand that, but for the purpose of of this video, let's discuss why Vader loved the rule of two at the start in Revenge of the Sith. It's because in his mind, if he wanted control and power, Sidious was his only way to achieve that. Well, thankfully, the rule of two was there for Sidious to take Vader as his sole apprentice and rule the galaxy together, only those two. But the problems came way later, when finally Vader accepted that he just couldn't defeat Sidious alone. He was too restricted with his injuries and suit. He was realistic enough to understand that his biggest problem now was that he officially couldn't get a new apprentice because his master just wouldn't allow it because of the rule of two. And so what did he do? He went to train Starkiller in secret all with the intention of killing Sidious in the end. You can clearly see that by the end, Vader hated the rule of two, thinking back to Revan, who ultimately inspired this notion of the rule of two. I think it's safe to say that Vader was inspired by the likes of Bane and Revan in the beginning of his Sith career. You can freely even say that he admired those people. But by the end, he understood that it was all a lie. His master Sidious had poisoned his mind with so much of his lies that I think he was just done. He was going to destroy everything that Sidious and the previous Sith built and start over from the beginning together with his son as we see by the time that we watch Empire Strikes Back. Revan and everyone else had failed in Vader's eyes. They had failed to create a perfect system. By this rule of two, Vader would never get a chance what do you guys think? Tell me your thoughts down in the comments, and if you enjoyed, leave a thumbs up and hit that bell to get notified the moment a new video is out. Have an awesome day, my Star Wars friends, and may the Force be with you always.